I would like to show you how to generate the new SSH key and how you can add it to the SSH agent and also we can test one um, application by directly connecting to github and uh, try to install it with uh, pip so that's what I wanted to show in this video and um, you can follow along mainly uh, I did this on Windows so uh, some of the commands uh, that you use in like Linux terminal may be a little bit different uh, so uh, I think that would be able to help for mostly uh, throughout this video okay and um, main the SSH keys you can use this protocol for uh, authenticating to the remote servers and services so let's start and first of all you need to have a git uh, github account and I already created one account for me so I have a github account so I will just log in and I can oops just go ahead and sign in so now I already have the github account so it logged me in so I'll show you one of the projects that uh, maybe you can see what I'm talking about like cloning so here if I want to uh, clone this uh, project or download this and install it so you can click on this button so you, you will be able to see like you can see the HTTPS link and uh, but you can use the SSH here so this will give you the link how you can use it to install directly using pip um, and pip is like the python way of installation of the software that's how you can do that let's uh, open a command prompt and um, start looking at uh, how we can install it, the ssh and generate the public and the private keys here are some of the steps that I will be following. First of all, uh, once you generate uh, your new GitHub account, uh, we will go to the command prompt and then start generating a new SSH key. After that, enter a file name and passphrase. Then um, we will open up the OpenSSS authentication agent from Windows Services and um, we will start that. Then get the agent PID by running the um, uh, start SSH agent there you will get your PID after that um, we will add that uh, private key to the SSH agent and um, if you are using Windows so you will need the full path like uh, SSH add and uh, C colon users and your username then uh, the SSH folder and the public key then once you get that we will go to the github and uh, add that public key to the github so these are the steps that you will be following through uh, so we, we can get one public key so let's try and get one and the commands that i'll be using here would be similar for windows as well as linux and uh, uh, mac users so ssh key let's type key gen which will let us generate a key and we'll specify the type as rsa and uh, the number of bytes would be 4096 and uh, requires our email address which would be for what we, we use it for github so mine is uh, like a dot com and uh, let's try it so now it's generating a key pair 
now it's going to generate a public and a private key and it's asking us uh, where it wants to generate so I will let it uh, be in my folder the C users folder and I'll just enter so looks like I already generated one and now I'm gonna overwrite it yes so now it's going to ask me about a passphrase so you can enter something that you generally remember and then you need to confirm that and uh, this time I'm trying to okay so this time it took it and it generated the passphrase and it gen also generated a fingerprint okay. so if you are using windows one thing you need to make sure is go to the services and check if the particular service is uh, running or what is the status whether it is disabled so let's do the services then run as admin there you can see like let's go to the open let's sort it and it's gonna be so now you can see oh my it's disabled so let's set that one to manual So now let's go back to the command prompt and then see what we can do over there. The key files were created in a different folder so let's uh, navigate to that folder using change directory. So now let's do the SSH agent so now the SSH agent is uh, started starting and it's done now it's asking us to enter the passphrase So it's the identity has been added okay let's try adding the full path for the SSH add and then the full path where the file is located okay now this one took it and uh, let's add the passphrase alright so before doing it so one thing I had to do is like uh, in the environment variable, variables I had to delete a path for the open SSH and I will show you what it is if you go to environment variables and go to the path so you can see there is a system uh, root and similarly there was something called system root 32 slash ssh so I deleted that because it was not uh, working earlier because of that thing and I have seen in the most of the forums that uh, it is one of the causes hopefully if that is not that's good so but one another thing is like once you delete it make sure you close the command prompt and then reopen it
So now let's locate our SSH that's been created and let's go to the folder. So here you can see in this path it just uh, it created the one and we will copy this. So control A and let's go to the GitHub and uh, within the GitHub let's go to your uh, settings and in the settings you can see this area SSH and add a new SSH key so you can paste the one that you got then you can create a title I'm going to create something like a Windows SSH tutorial with SSH I will delete this one later so or maybe reuse it you can have multiple SSH so now it's going to add your password so I already have it saved so so now it generated the SSH key and you have it okay so the next step is uh, we will go and try one application So now I will go ahead and test the uh, GitHub uh, cloning from SSH method and uh, let's try the pip install git plus SSH colon git at You can try any other path here. I'm just trying because I'm working on this one. Okay, so now it looks like it's working. And it's asking for the pass. So by adding the correct password, it's able to work now. So I was able to enter the path and also at the same time uh, I had to add the here the previous one that I was doing was directly uh, git plus ssh github.com but uh, I added git at github.com so now it's able to clone the remote repository and install it in my uh, local folder one easier choice is to download git for windows you go you can go to git git for windows dot org and from there you can download uh, the file i was able to install the git bash from git for windows so now i launched it and uh, i typed the ssh agent a space s and uh, it's able to generate the ssh agent pid 